Hello, this is Michael joining the Business. Today I'll be doing a review on this Voltec VT20 eye safe. That eye is for the fingerprinting, um, so that's why it has the eye at the end. The VT20 regular will not have the fingerprinting. Now, it came in this beautiful box. Now, in this box, they actually um, sent me separately a swag pack. Swag pack happens to just be an undershirt that says Voltec on it and has Armed Republic. Uh, so that's nice. Um, and inside as well was this information that was supposed to be over here, but it kind of fell out. It was supposed to be up in the compartment, it fell out. Um, and then, also a cable lock came with it. So this is nice. Um, cable lock, you can lock it in your safe. I can show you that later. And also a bunch of stickers that you're probably not going to use. But hey, why not? Tons of swag. Um, also came with this, put on your door. I think I would actually use that, you know, try to scare people off. Anyway, um, here is all the instructions how to set it up. I have to say, really very, very easy to set up. Like, it was so super simple. Like, even the battery went in both ways. Now, over here, um, came a little bit more. So you have the keys. They came with two keys. One of them I'm actually uh, have in a special place. And then the charger, a screwdriver. This is actually a magnetic end. It's very nice. And the battery came right here, which I already put in. And this is the charger. Now this charger does not tell me, actually it does. All right, the output is five volts at two amps. So that's nice. That means you could basically use any charger with it. And I don't really use this so often because, hey, um, I just got it and it charges for, the charge lasts for a very long time. So we don't really need it right now. We'll put this away. All right, let's start with the cable since I said I was gonna get to that. Um, you put the cable in right here, and then you can close off the safe. It's not as easy as I thought to put in. There we go. And it goes in just like that, and then you can use this other end to, uh, basically you gotta put the other end into it first, and then, you know, put it around something. That's the idea. Okay, so first of all, this safe is beautiful. On the outside, white and black, I got the white and black model. I actually ordered the black on black model, but they made a mistake and they sent me the wrong one. Uh, they actually made it up to me, so that was nice. Um, but the white on white model is very nice. Now, um, first let's start with the uh, this little compartment over here. Um, it comes as a screwdriver and you just open it up and there's a battery. You just put in the battery and then you program in your codes and everything. There's like a million videos on YouTube how to do that. I want to talk about things that you probably haven't heard before. Um, there's an extra pad over here that I took out originally because um, my gun didn't fit. But um, I realize now that it fits just fine, so put that pad back in. But you could take out the there's two pads, so you could take out one of them. Now, um, one thing I want to talk about is the fingerprinting and the code. How reliable is it? So um, I did two tests on YouTube. You can find it. Um, I did the fingerprint test uh, and, and I did the code test. And you notice that as soon as you touch, see if you touch the code pad, I'll wait until it turns off. All right, so the number pad is off. If I just hover over it like that, it'll turn back on. And that's really nice. The problem is they didn't do the same thing for the fingerprinting. So if it's night and it's you know dark, you will not be able to see your fingerprint and you just have to assume, just kind of guess where it is, which I've actually had so far and I, I couldn't even find it even in the day. Like it was a little bit hard to find it. So that's something they should really work on is to put a little light over here. So if someone does try to touch here, besides for just the uh, numbers lighting up, this should light up as well. They should have like kind of like a circle here just to see where I'm supposed to be fingerprinting. Otherwise, I can't really see it at night. It's very, very hard to see. Um, that's one thing I think that they should think about. Um, another thing that I really like about this safe is the fact that the keyhole is covered. So that way, if someone, if you actually bolt this down, which I haven't yet, but if you actually bolt it down, um, it will be very hard to be able to pick it because you don't even know that there's a keyhole. You would just think that there's this and you would just look around. You would find this charging port, but you wouldn't find anything else unless you spend a few minutes and then figure out that it's here. Now, one thing that I really liked about what they did is in this little thing, um, as you can see, they made everything easy. Like you have a little thumb pad just to pull out. So that's nice, actually. Um, so there is extra of everything. See, there's four mounting screws in here and there's an extra little screw in case you lose that um, screw for the battery cover, which is reversible battery input, I guess. And I'll show you the battery holes right now. 
See, there are only two battery holes, and they included four screws because they wanted to make sure that even if you lose it, um, you'll still have enough screws to be able to do it again, I guess. So you can only put in one uh, master code, but you can put it up to 20 fingerprints. I would recommend you do, um, you know, of your same hand, uh, like for example, if you make the thumb your master and the other thumb, both of my thumbs are masters, um, if you make, you know, a finger, your opening finger, then you could, you could do it like three or four times. So that might enhance it. So yeah. And I would recommend um, whatever your shooting has, hand is, do the other hand. So that way you can go in. And this is my MMP Compact uh, 2.0. And uh, as you can see, we're clear. Um, you can go in and grab it real quick. So, for example, if you're opening it with you're opening with your left hand, you can grab it with your right hand. That way you don't have to be wasting time because if you have to use your both, you know, the finger that you're using, the hand, you, then you wouldn't be able to grab it as quickly. So I think that's a better idea. Now, everyone's talking about, you know, how much space you can fit inside the safe. Um, now, what I would tell you is that you're looking to protect yourself in an emergency situation. You don't want to jam your safe full of stuff. That would be just very annoying because if you have, here, let's this let's say you're trying to jam your safe full of as many as you can so you can fit two and uh, your magazine I don't know you try to shove it in you're just trying to shove it in and this is a um, Umor expert it's but it's an exact replica and it barely fits both of them and this is a full size obviously but why would you want to try to jam it so that way when you you know you're in an emergency situation you don't want to have to you know try to find the right one your hand will get stuck right here you want it to be right in the middle you know, and if you have an extra mag, put it on the side. Let's see, you have two extra mags here. Say, you can put one right here, one right here, and one should be already inside. Honestly, you should not have a safe with a mag. Now, I know you can't really see the gun so well, but um, you should already have a you know one or two mags inside the safe, and then one should already be inside the gun. Obviously, even if it's not chambered, it should still be there. So, you know, maybe one extra mag right here, and it should be easy. That's the whole idea. You shouldn't be jamming your safe full of guns to see what it holds and what it doesn't hold. That's just stupid. Another thing I think they need to work on is a great option, a great feature of the safe is the light. But you I mean you can't really see anything. I mean, I think they should put a little more light in it. And, you know, especially don't put your, you know, ammunition right there like your extra mag or something. It's just going to block the light. You should put it right here so that way you can at least see something um, in the light. And that's, that's something that they might want to add. I don't know, maybe put the light up here. That would be a great idea. Another thing I really didn't like was if you don't just screw it down, what ends up happening is even with heavy stuff inside, it will shake around. So unless you bolt it down, it will shake around. I don't know what they would do for that. Maybe they'd make some weights here. I don't know what um, they could possibly do to make it not really like that, but that's kind of annoying. So if you don't have it bolted down, you're, you're going to end up um, with some every time it opens because there's springs in here which open it automatically which is what you want um, I've heard some complaining that when you close it it doesn't close all the way I mean if you close it all the way it'll close all the way and it won't just open randomly I've been seeing a lot of people that said that I don't have any problem with that also um, green something or the other green shooter uh, he's very famous on YouTube um, he was saying how electronic sticks are not reliable I mean this is pretty reliable you should watch my other videos that I made on the fingerprinting and on the keys. He said the keys don't press easily. I mean, I did it like 70 or 80 times. And out of those 70, 80 times, yes, it didn't get pressed two or three times. But the mechanical ones don't either. The mechanical ones might be more reliable um, because, you know, they don't run out of battery. But the battery on this thing lasts a long time. I mean, I got this and I've been playing around with it for about three weeks. I've just been playing around with it all the time. And I don't even know how much battery left. I'll check right now. So I'm using the charger that it came with. Even though you could really use any 3.5 volt, you know, 2 amp charger, or even less amp, and I am on three bars. See, it will tell you exactly how many. Like a power bank, it will tell you how much you have. It's still really pretty, pretty charged. So, like, I'm not worried about the battery. So, you know, and if not, you can always use the key. So that's always a safe bet. I just want to make sure that I said this. Um, there's up to 20 fingerprints, but only one code. So you can't program more than one code. I didn't know that, I was a little bit annoyed actually. So I turned the Bluetooth off on my safe because I just think it's a little bit unsafe 
<laughs> um, to have Bluetooth on. I mean, it's pretty easy to hack. Uh, you see there's a guy on YouTube that does it, and I just turn mine off. Um, yeah, it's cool. You figure out tampering. You see when it's used, but I prefer it to not be on at all. It's perfect safe without it. All right, so here are the hotkeys. Two and four. Um, press and hold keys two and four. And it will, yeah, it tells you. Toggle stealth mode, toggle travel mode, all these fun modes. You could check the uh, delete fingerprint, Bluetooth on and off, battery status, is you will just um, be able to hold the five and I'll tell you. So you hold the five button and it tells you basically fully charged, which is what we knew already. So here is the safe. I really like it. I would actually tell you to turn on stealth mode. There's no reason for the beeping. You don't need the beeping. Um, what you need is for it to be quiet when you open it up. Um, and uh, yeah, one very annoying thing also is that it only has five digits. I mean, you can't really expect so much, but you know, if you have a regular four digit code they like to use and it like has a seven or 10 or something in it, uh, nine, then you won't be able to use it. You'll have to think of a new code and you might forget it. So it's a little bit annoying. But other than that, you know, it fits what I needed to fit. Um, let me show you another mag for the, um, the compact. So here's an empty mag and it fits just perfectly. Um, you should always also have a few more weapons because why not? Here I have a taser light. Um, so it's in the middle. I'll be able to show you everything. Um, and then all the way at the end, you can do the taser situation. And then I have pepper spray with me. I also have this horn that makes a lot of noise. It's always good to have a bunch of different options, you know, just in case. Um, and I understand people want to keep two in their safe, maybe for you and your wife, but like, I don't really see there's a reason for it. Um, I think one is better than enough. And especially, you know, if you want to grab it quickly, you want to be able to do that. And you don't want to have two to fumble around. That's my opinion. Um, but I've never been in this situation. So, you know, thank God. Thank you for watching. And I hope this video helped you a little bit in making your decisions about purchasing a safe. Again, I very much like this safe. I like the customer service. I like the way it looks. I like almost everything about it. I just have a few problems with it, which I did voice um, 250 bucks on Amazon 255, I think. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.